do civic education. Let us always have open dialogue when we finish our elections. Let us always strengthen our institutions to deal with issues that affect us. Your Excellency, they are also questioning and what they think about government agencies. And they say government agencies should play in promoting reconciliation. It is important for us to provide safe spaces for mediation, provide logistical and financial support, and protect human rights. It is important for all of us, and especially us in Kenya, to enforce the rule of law, build trust by fostering dialogue among individuals and communities. They also say the challenges in our communities that hinder reconciliation efforts, and they are questioning how can they be overcome. They say there's lack of accountability, leaders funding violence, generational and historical trauma, weak judicial system due to corruption, and they are pleading that we can overcome this by strong judicial systems, equity in resource allocation, and political integrity. Lastly, Your Excellency, they are saying how can individuals, civil society, organizations, and other stakeholders contribute to promoting reconciliation in Kenya? And they feel it is important for individuals to embrace leadership roles, resolve problems within families and ourselves. Civil society should be vocal, but also work closely in bringing both of us together, government and civil society, all working for one nation, and bring in also alternative dispute resolution. And lastly, they pray that the government should implement recommendations of the TJRC, but knowing very well reconciliation is the key in everything. Thank you very much. And we want to thank all our children, and we pray that you'll hold our nation and hold the values, and may God bless you. Thank you so much.